Okay. Sense one of your pals, Hoodle? It feels like I'm melting. Calaglia was pretty hot, but at least the air there was dry. Out here, it feels like I'm trying to walk through thick soup. I can hardly breathe, it's so stuffy. And don't get me started on the insects. You hanging in there, Hoodle? <laughs> it's brutal, all right. I can feel my energy being drained away just by walking. All this vegetation makes it hard to keep an eye out. Keep your wits about you, everyone. And watch you don't keel over while you're at it. What's needed at times like these is a relaxing hot spring. That would soon help us adjust. And where do you expect us to find one of those? What about you, Alfin? All that gear, and you hardly seem to be breaking a sweat. Yeah, I guess when you've lived a life devoid of pain for as long as I have, even feeling hot and bothered can be a welcome change. Well, lucky you, I guess. Just don't expect us to carry you when you pass out. Like this should be easy. Swallow <laughs> dance! They wrecked you! You gotta jump for cover! It's over! It's over. This one? No! Soaring like this! We have a better oh, no. CD! Get the wind! What takes this? I'll stop it, Chuck! Thanks, Kisara! Dragon Explorer! But a victory nonetheless. We have a long way yet to go. About that spot. Good idea. I'll go for that one. Ha! 
All right. Good fishers always keep their cool. Got something. Well, that wasn't much of a challenge. Nice! You caught it! Is that the Zoogle we were told to dispatch? No backing down! Get out of this! I'll tear you apart! Simeon, I shall steal you where you stand! Could have been worse. Man, this place is thick with foliage. I know. It feels like we're going to be swallowed up by all these plants if we stay in here. Indeed. I much prefer the forests in Menencia myself. Not that I don't agree, but maybe now's not the best time for Elder Menencia Pride. Sword Rain Alpha! 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 Sword Rain Alpha!
Alpha! Our art is being interrupted! It's over! Dragon Alpha! Alpha. Raging Cascade! Eagle Assault! Fresh! Dance in the wind! Eagle I'm not getting I could do without this pain. You're mine! Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! I'm practically unstoppable. What's this thing? Go and no further! I'm not done! Eat dirt! Heal! Uh, Try uh, harder! Uh, now! Take this! Oh! Now I'm real mad! Peace. Huh. 
There's the Zoogle we were asked to handle. This one will be difficult to predict. Oh, you Can't get out of this! Talent Try four. harder! My turn is It's over! Are those arms even natural? You're on! I'm your win! Luna Rongo! Air pressure! Resonate with the arc! Leave the ensnaring to me. Yeah! And I'm pummeling the brute! Onward and upward. Concentration is dwindling. Perhaps I'm tired. What do you say we check back in on the ranch?
Did we really just spend that much money? I'm drenched in sweat. Perfect. Rinwell, mind if we chat a little? You're still awake? I've always been something of a night owl. Ever since back when I was someone's property. Turning in for the night only made the next day come quicker. I wasn't in any great rush. Ah, uh, sorry. What about yourself? Care to share something from before I knew you? You were part of a mage clan, right? Must have been handy being able to rely on magic for everything. Hardly. In fact, not at all. Magic's not so special when you're not allowed to use it. Always scared of who might be watching? Right. Sorry about that. I guess I've read too many fairy tales. We were still made to study it every day. It doesn't make any sense if you think about it, studying the very thing you're being persecuted for. But that's what we did, just like our parents and their parents before them. Honestly, I don't even know how far back it goes. If memory serves, mages have been the stuff of legend for ages. Even as far back as three centuries ago, they were myths. Your people were persecuted even before the Renans got here. Yeah, the more I think about it, the less it makes sense, though. I mean, it was astral arts that let the Renans dominate Dana, right? Why didn't mages end up being the rulers of Dana then? Maybe they tried, but they just didn't have the numbers. Or maybe domination just wasn't something they were interested in. Have you ever considered it might have been something like that? I guess I haven't. I wonder why magic alone attracted the attention it did. Swords can be just as lethal in the right hands. Why not ban them? My best guess? Swordsmanship can be learned by anyone. Magic's more of an exclusive club. So, you either have the gift or you don't. When something's not easily obtainable, it's hard to comprehend. People are scared of what they don't understand. And fear leads to persecution. So the problem's not magic. It could just as easily have been anything. Yeah. Night, everyone! Another day, another gold.
one's all mine! are bearing fruit. Check the owl forest? What's up? Once we get to the mountain, the terrain won't be easy. We should rest up here before pressing on. But what about Xion? She's waiting for us. All the more reason to conserve our energy. Huh? It's not only the mountain. Hard though that may be, it's a pittance compared to what follows. Namely, Volron. We wear ourselves out now, or worse still, get injured. We might as well show up gift-wrapped. Right, Kisara? That's right. Besides, Alfin still hasn't fully recuperated yet. I'm fine. Don't stop on my account. Oh, really? Well, in that case, it's me who wants to take a rest for a while. Does that suit you better? <laughs> a little bit. So, Alfin, 300 years, huh? Care to share the secret to such a long and healthy life? I wish I knew. Once I left Lenigus, the next thing I remember is waking up in Calaglia. Everything in between is a blank. You mean, there are still gaps in your memory? 
I've heard of starships with devices that can stave off imminent death by putting their passenger into a deep sleep. They're usually only intended as a temporary solution, until proper treatment for an ailment or injury can be obtained. You think he might have been asleep in that starship for 300 years? But why? What would be the point? Might this Naori have had a hand in it? What do you mean? If she's Renin like you say she is, she would have understood how to operate the starship better than yourself. <laughs> You're saying she deliberately put me to sleep for 300 years? Dohalim, that's a bit of a leap. Forgive me, I spoke out of turn. I'm merely thinking aloud, that's all. Shion and the maiden Naori. After 300 years, it's not unreasonable to suspect they may be related. Shion is nearly the perfect image of her, yes? She also just so happens to be connected to you. Is it merely a coincidence? <sighs> like I've told you a million times already, I wouldn't know. Well, if you're absolutely certain that it couldn't have been Naori, then I guess I must have been mistaken. Complicated machinery can sometimes break down or have failures. Sorry for being presumptuous. <laughs> Hold on a sec. Alfin, you said the mask was to placate you, right? To keep your guilt and rage in check? And you were wearing it the whole time you were asleep, right? I guess I must have been. So that's 300 years you were wearing it. It's just a hunch, but do you think that the mask might be... The reason he lost all his memories? All but a select few strong ones, so deeply ingrained in his psyche that he saw them in the form of dreams. It's not completely out of the question. In which case, maybe it was the mask numbing his sense of pain, too. It's certainly possible. As for how, I wouldn't know, but the dampening effect on his psyche could have manifested itself physically as well. <sighs> I'm sorry for snapping at you back there. It's thanks to you that I feel like I'm... No, that we're finally getting somewhere with all this. No apologies necessary. Reading others' feelings has never been my strong suit. So he finally admits it. I really hope Xion's okay. I get why you're concerned. Alone. I'm all alone. Let's go. We don't want to keep Xion waiting. I always hear you muttering to yourself whenever we're in battle. So, uh, just what are you saying? Why do you want to know? Does it bother you or something? No, really. It's just the way you talk is sometimes kind of creepy. So I was wondering if you vent your frustration through your magic. Are you yelling, you stupid jerk, or something like that to pump yourself up? What? No, that's not what's happening during my incantations. I'm just focused, so I match my tone to fit the mood of whatever I'm trying to invoke. Invoke? Uh, how do I put it? Basically, the elemental astral energy behind each art, I guess. Astral energy? Hold on, are you saying you can talk to astral energy? Uh, not exactly. But if I put emotion into what I say, it's easier for me to properly cast my arts. That makes sense? Kind of. Okay, so if you can talk to astral energy, then you can ask it to, like, predict the weather or find secret treasure? Wait, you don't really think that, do you? Or you can ask it to send down lightning to where there's bad guys lurking and... May lightning condemn those who bear false! Thunderblade! Ah, what are you doing? You almost fried me with that! 
I just asked the astral energy to send down lightning where there were annoying boys. I don't know what to do. Things can't go on like this. What do you mean? Ah! Oh, it's you, Rinwell. You were talking about me, weren't you? No, I wasn't. I've just been thinking about some things. Really? How unusual. Cut it out. I'm being serious here. Uh, sorry. I was thinking about... You know how I used to work for Ganabelt back when I was in Cislodia? Yeah, of course. You were brought in after the Snake Eyes killed your friends, right? I mean, you had to. Right. I used to have nightmares about it when I fell asleep. But lately, that's been happening a lot less. I don't know how to feel about that. That's a good thing, isn't it? You should be happy. Yeah, but... <sighs> I did a lot of terrible things back then, and I'm scared I'm starting to forget what I did. Okay, so let me just get all of this straight. You think you'll forget everything if you stop having those nightmares? Why? Because, uh, you know me, I'm freaking stupid. But it sure doesn't sound to me like you've forgotten. Oh well, yeah, but still. I don't think those nightmares going away means you've forgotten. Maybe it's a sign that you've come to terms with what you did. Come to terms? You mean like Alfin with his past? You think that's what's happening? Yeah, I do. <sighs> You're pretty amazing, Law. I am? Yeah. Not all of us have figured out how to accept our pasts. Least of all, me. Rinwell. That's what we're going to climb? The villagers managed it on their escape from the city. We're going in the opposite direction, but where there's a will... <sighs> there's always a way, right? And it looks like we're out of options. Let's grit our teeth and go! Is it just me, or does Rinwell suddenly seem much more comfortable around Dohalim than she used to? I noticed that too. When the two of them came and found me together back on the beach, I could hardly believe my eyes. It's not like we had a choice or anything. Law and Kisara had to hang back to convince the villagers we meant them no harm. More than that, though, there are a lot of things I've still got to come to terms with regarding Almadria. But I guess I'm through making snap judgments based on someone's origin. At least, I'm trying to be. I guess you could say it's a work in progress. I see. You hear that, Law? Sounds like all that hard effort wasn't for nothing. Yeah. That's got to be reassuring to hear. Right, Dohalim? Not being subjected to unwarranted suspicion is certainly welcome. Yeah. That long-winded way you have of talking, though? Not so much a fan of that. I think that's more of a personality thing than a Renin trait. Really? In that case, I won't have to feel guilty getting annoyed by it. <sighs>
Looks like we made it here in one piece. Okay. Okay. Yes! What? Really? Hmm. Dohalim. <laughs> Dohalim, I'm going to look into some seasonal fishing spots. Hmm, by all means. Leave the preparations to me as well. I'll bring the rods. Would you prefer your fish served grilled or raw? I'll uh, trust your judgment, Kisara. rest here now. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. Scratches on my shield or my armor. Crap. This injury hurts more than I thought. Shion, sorry, but could you? Oh. Right.
Paid off.
What's this thing? magnificent than the musculature of a warrior. Perhaps it is in search of this perfect beauty that I myself am drawn into battle. right? Why are guys so obsessed with their muscles? Because these puppies have yet to let me down. stood so close to a waterfall like this before. I bet it'd feel real refreshing to take a shower underneath this water. You're welcome to try, but that water pressure would likely crush you to a pulp.
Demon descent! Flashing Fang! Easy! Way to go! Short Alpha! Fifth Super! Rising Leopard! Long Dead! Short Alpha! Let's make with Demon Fury! Now! Surely! In an instant! Impact Cross! We are in charge! I'll stop your movement! And I'll stop your life! I can feel my power growing! You could say that again. Consider well if this is the right path. No armor! I'm ready! 
In an instant! Impact block! We work well together. Like a finely timed block. You're beyond our depth. We barely got a look at the thing. Hey, new equipment! Nice and tough. <laughs> How much farther? I don't think we're even halfway there yet. Hang in there. Not even halfway? Are you serious? That's no. Go to Rick Shine. Radiant Light. Move it. Get up. Regeneration. Sword Rain Alpha. Regeneration. Let us take to the front. Lightning Orb. Sword Rain Alpha. Ready right. with the Earth. It's your time. The last fight. On the Close one. Sword Rain Alpha. 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 Look sharp. Lightning Tiger Blade! Blade. See that? That training's paying off! Shine! Radiant I'm not done! Ghost of Regeneration! Yes. Ready to regenerate! Take it! I really owe you one! Soda! You're done! Crush! Right. Allow me to help you! Rip it! Tear! Sword Rain Alpha! Do it! Stop! Sure. I'll stop your movement! And I'll stop your life! Shine! Not Radiant here! Light. Soda! Soda. Of regeneration! Not in your dreams! Regenerate! Sword Rain Alpha! I owe you one! I'm ready! Oh. 
Look sharp! Lightning Tiger Blade! blade. Yeah, on your the knees! Here we go! Now I'm in the groove! Air Protoss! Eagle Joey! Pick it up! Demon's Descent! Flashing Fang! I've been doing really great lately. Say we check back in on the ranch. How well balanced this thing is.
I always love the sound of hammers banging away. What is this place? Careful, we've got company! Doesn't look like we're getting past without a fight. Watch your feet. Fall from here and it's curtains. We're just trying to get past! Get out of our way! Save your breath! All that thing sees is a talking meal! So let's show it how wrong it is! Is it trying to stop us? We have a hope! Get him! 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 Get And will you lay down it's your life ready for your to attack. Well, I mean, hey, let's not be hasty. Such tremendous power. Don't face it head on. Can you take it? Hey, hey, not done. Done. This isn't looking good. Forgive me. You'll pay for the... like that could easily be fatal. Just as well, we I'm here to stop. Don't mind if I do. This one's all mine. Radiant light. light. Take force of regeneration. Regenerate. Another Radiant incantation sword. ruined. He who prepares Dance this is free, you require Air thrust. Try to kill. Eagle of All good things come to an end. Ha! Shot. Radiant light. Too much light. I couldn't make it in time. Regenerate! I owe you all! Tempest! You're finished! Elusive Demon! You're mine! Supernova! Sword Raider! Right you know You're finished! Sleep now! From beyond! This is Here I come! Sword Raider right right Alpha! Up Resuscitation! Up and out! Let's go! Just the time! Uh, Eat dirt! Elusive Deity! Sword Raider right Alpha! Getting wild time! Super Swallow! Go! Uh, Shine! Here I come! Regeneration! Regeneration! Yeah, I appreciate the concern. The sooner you stop thanking, the sooner you can start helping. I mean, 
Yes, sir. No harm in being interrupted. Shine, radiant Dude, light, in the wind. force of regeneration. Regenerate. Don't cut her inside. I mean, you're dead, Dorothy. Nenton. Neil is on you. You got from beyond. Impeach.
With fauna like that, I'm impressed so many people from Thistle made it through here alive. Who's to say there weren't a whole lot more of them who didn't? <sighs> well, at any rate, it should be a safer climb now that we've cleared the way a bit, right? No. So long as people feel the need to face terrain this perilous, I'd say true safety some way off. You mean defeating Volron and putting an end to the crown contest, right? <laughs> I guess that would be the best solution here, huh? We've wasted enough time here already. Let's get going. She needs us. How are we still not there yet? It feels like we've been climbing this mountain forever. It helps if you try not to look up or down. All you need is silent determination. Talking too much will only waste energy and burn you out. I'm too tired to look up or down even if I wanted to. Take care you don't fall, at least. Unless you want to make a Zoogle today, that is. Zoogles? Why would they care if I fell or not? How would you feel if a three-course meal fell right out of the sky at your feet? <laughs> Zoogle chow. Uh, Law? Best not to listen to him if you can help it. You'll only be encouraging him if you do. Tell me that before I listen next time! Still, Tohalim has a point. One wrong step in its curtains. Wouldn't it be great if we could all fly like Hoodle? I bet even the refugees who didn't make it would have made it to Thistle in that way. <laughs> Until we magically sprout wings. Let's just watch where we're stepping instead, okay? Come on. Xion's waiting for us. We did it. We've reached the top of the mountain. <sighs> About damn time. My knees are singing symphonies over here. Look! There it is! That's it. That's Pelegion. The seat of Volron's power. 
So that's where Xion's being held? Most likely. Most likely? That is what I said, yes. Pelijin's still our best lead. So that's where we go, right? Any advice before we head in there? No. No? In the ancient tongue, Ganeth Haros means Fortress of Knot. Though I fail to see what insight that nugget of trivia holds. I guess I just thought you might have something we could use. Since Volron became Lord, the only thing this realm has been known for is its Shroud of Secrecy. It is Volron's stronghold. All else is incidental. Just keep in mind that you can't be too careful inside. Speaking of which, just how are all of us planning to get inside, exactly? It's not like there are any secret passages. We've come this far. If there's no other way in, I guess we'll just have to use the front gate. Volron told us to come find him, which means he's expecting us. Let's do this the old-fashioned way. Land of water or no, this place has a most curious atmosphere. I'd be taking a dip in it if the circumstances were better. Sorry, but we have to push through for now. Shion is waiting. Yeah, I hear ya. A soak can wait. I sure hope nothing bad's happened to Shion. Keep those thoughts to yourself, Rinwell. Everyone's anxious enough as it is. S sorry it's just... I can't seem to stop thinking about it. What do you think it is that Bolron wanted with her anyway? Going by what he said back on Almadria's ship, it would appear his primary target is Alfin. Though, it's likely he hasn't forgotten the blow he sustained at Xion's hand either. That might even be what ignited his interest. Yeah, did you see the way he reacted? It was like he was enjoying every moment. Even his pain at Xion's thorns. Oh, that guy's just creepy. Let's just hope he's keeping his perverted tendencies in check. What? Law? Don't say things like that! It's not like we weren't all thinking it. That's still no reason to... All right, you two. Now that's enough already. Alfin shouldn't have to grit his teeth while he listens to you. Oh. Uh, sorry. <sighs> Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. One simply needs to be bold and act with conviction in times such as these. Did you know it was going to be safe before you jumped? Because I sure didn't. More or less. I figured there would likely be a basin here akin to most such waterfalls. Don't just make people jump off cliffs on a hunch! <sighs> What's this thing? Climbing a considerable height. It's only natural that it will take some time. That's not the problem here! We... we are getting closer to the top, aren't we? You've just got to keep your spirits up, Linwell. Positive thinking is everything.
retreat if you know what's good for you. Eat dirt! Harmonious melody of punching, etc., etc. Come on, Law, not you too. I sense a strange power from this. Something. We should be able to cook here. Where I've seen that castle somewhere before. Right. I remember seeing it from the cliffs in Calaglia, across the sea. You mean Bulron's castle? Yeah, that must have been it. Geographically, it would make sense. It's most certainly large enough to be seen from afar. Back then, I had Shion and Zephyr with me. Well, we haven't lost Shion. We can still get her back, you know. That's right. I won't let Bulron take her away from us. This is a true masterpiece, no less than culinary art. Dohalim, care if I hang out for a while? I wanted to ask you something. I'm all ears. How much contact did you have with the other lords back in the day? I only saw or exchanged words with them on a handful of occasions. Not that I was particularly keen on even that much. Almadria made it sound like the two of you had some kind of history together. She was like that with all of the lords, not just me. 
she was always interested in who she could use, who had value for her own ends. Having said that, she wasn't quite so brazen back when we were still in Lenegas. In a sense, she may have been a victim of the Crown Contest as well. <laughs> Almadria? A victim? To a Renan, there is no greater honor in life than being chosen to serve as a lord, let alone to go on and become the next sovereign. We are taught that from the day we leave the womb. There are few Renans who wouldn't be ecstatic at the prospect of ascending to lordship. You were like that though, right? You've always struck me as a more grounded guy. No sane Renan would ever dare admit that their interests lie in anything but power and prestige, even if they feel so in their heart of hearts. The more you talk about it, the more it seems like the crown contest is nothing but misery for Renans, too. Which is why I seek to end it. Not that I imagine Danon, such as Rinwell, are all that interested in hearing tales of woe such as mine. We'd best get ready for tomorrow. Shall we get moving?